Hi, I'm Molly, and this is Mary Kay, and we're here for Ask the Experts. Um, today we're going to talk about poinsettias, and we're also going to talk about living Christmas trees. Um, this is a beautiful poinsettia that Mary Kay is holding. You see them around at Christmas time. They're actually a very easy houseplant to take care of if you know a few tricks, and can last all season long or all through the holidays, and actually year after year if you know how to treat them right. Um, they like bright light, so if you put them in a window where they get bright indirect light, they'll be happiest and keep their color the best. If you're decorating for the holidays and you want to put them somewhere where they're not receiving as much light, perhaps you could put them in light during times when you don't have guests and then move them back to where they're prominently displayed in your home um, during your festivities. Um, water, check them daily for water. They don't like to dry out too, too much, so make sure that the top, uh, put your finger in the soil and make sure that the top isn't dry. If it feels dry to the touch, take it out of the sleeve, very important, and go water it until water runs through. Water, water, water until it's well saturated. Once it's done draining, you can put it back in the, in the sleeve and put it back where it lives. Check out Mary Kay's blog, um, upcoming blog, on how to keep them blooming year after year, and you'll be happy with your poinsettia. Hi, we're back inside with some beautiful living Christmas trees. Many people don't want to buy a tree that's been cut, that they can't plant outside after Christmas, so we do carry several different varieties of living Christmas trees that you can bring inside your house at Christmas. Uh, everything from Arizona uh, cypress to pine trees to these beautiful little um, blue point junipers. One thing to remember is locate them away from uh, heat or air conditioning vent. You don't want anything blowing on them. Wait until almost the last minute to bring inside. I would say the, the longest time they should be spending inside is about a week. Uh, four days is even better if you want it to live. Uh, there is a way to extend the um, health of your tree inside. We will be carrying a product um, that is called an anti-transparent that you can spray on the foliage and it will seal the moisture inside the, the tree. The biggest problem with living Christmas trees is that your house is dry. And when it, when it stays dry, then it dries out the needles and the tree can look pretty bad going back outside to be planted. So if you spray it with the anti-transparent, it'll, it'll spend more time inside for you. Watering should be done as you would any other containerized tree. You can take it outside to water it. Once it's decorated, keep it in a, in a saucer. Water it well when you water it and drain that saucer water off. If you only have it inside for four to seven days, you might, might not even need to water it, especially the larger pots. Um, just feel the soil to make sure that it doesn't dry out. Also, I'd like to mention that the cut trees that we carry are uh, put in water immediately upon arrival. They will stay very fresh for you. We also spray those with an anti-transparent so they don't lose moisture inside. And when you get it to your home, the first two days are critical to keep the water reservoir full of water. Don't add anything to it. University studies have shown that it does not help to add aspirin or a Sprite or anything else to the water. Just keep it fresh and keep that water in it. It, it could take up to a gallon or so the first two days and then after that, just check it daily to make sure your reservoir is full. Other than that, your Christmas tree should say, stay bright and green and pretty all through the Christmas season. For Backbone Valley, Ask the Expert, I'm Mary Kay, and this is Molly. Thank See you, you next week. See you next week.